All right. We are going to uh, do our winter TBR or first quarter of the year. However you want to say it. different from other people's TBRs because we're going to do a joint TBR which we're actually going to be discussing those books with each other and then we're going to do our own separate TBRs so you can kind of see like what we're reading and then we can discuss that later so we should start with what we're reading jointly first so the first book of uh, the year is going to be Poppy War it's a reread for me um, so we're going to break that one down into three parts, I believe, because I think there's three parts in it to discuss it. And then, um, so that'll be the first book of the new year. And? So what's next? <sighs> I bought the cell, and we will be doing Malazan. <laughs> Well, it, I bought his cell, but he did have some help from our, some our commenters. viewer comments, so... Um, we will, when we do Malazan, I mean, the first book is shorter. Right. But it's in four parts, but just because, well, you know, life happens, Malazan isn't exactly the quickest read, usually. We'll probably do every other week when discussing that. We might also do every other week when we're discussing the other books as well. That part we are not... But we're not solid on, on that yet. yet. <laughs> you're lucky you're getting the books. <laughs> so, but I'm very excited for the reread and then to get her... Into the Malazan Madness. Yes, yes. I hope the first book just sinks the hook and drags her in. <laughs> oh, one that likes to figure everything out. Uh, but you said I would not like it. No, no, no. I'm saying personally, yeah. it's more enjoyable if you just go along with the Right, ride. so I'll have to try and not be myself. No, you can be yourself. Just don't drive yourself crazy. Right. And then, if we should have time... Which, I know nothing about this book, so... I don't know anything about it either. Um, I know it came out this year, and when it did come out, like... Uh, Instagram was, like, all about it. So, I uh, said, well, I'll pick it up. Um, I think... It's, um, well, I could just read what it says on the back here. From masterful storyteller T.J. Clune comes a life and death love story between a man who lives to help the dead and a man who died, then learned to live. So, hmm. we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, this will be if we have time. Otherwise, it'll probably get pushed to next quarter. And it will be the first book that we will discuss that neither one of us has experience with the author. Exactly. So that will be entertaining, to say the least. Yes. All right. And now we have a list for our own personal stuff. No, oh boy. So the ones I'm definitely going to try to read on the side would be Dead House Landing and Kelvin Ved's Reach. So Ian C. Elsamont's, uh trilogy prequel for Malazan. I read Dancer's Lament already. So I, I'm going to definitely read those two. I'm going to try to do Full Moon for uh, The Dresden Files, book two. And Harrow the Ninth, because I had already finished uh, Gideon the Ninth. And what is Harrow the Ninth about? So, Necromancers in Space. Okay. Then it's kind of just crazy. I don't know if... I mean, I'm going to read it. I don't know if I'll finish it. So, okay. we'll see. And then the next tier of importance would be God Blind from the God Blind trilogy, Malice by John Gwynn, Before They Are Hanged, book two of the first Law trilogy, and Hail Mary. It's a standalone sci fi, I believe, that got pretty good uh, reviews on BookTube. And then after that, if there's time, would be City of Brass, Jade City. The Sword of Kaigen, Kings of the Wild, and then maybe on downtime I'd read a couple volumes of Berserk. So I got a lot on my plate to try. Who knows if I get to it all. 
And you're doing most of this on Kindle. That's why we don't have actual yes, physical yes. copies. Usually I'll read it on Kindle, and if I really enjoy it, I'll buy the physical because I know she'll read the physical and not Kindle. Yep. And then her list is also on here. Yeah, <laughs> my list is nowhere as lengthy. Um, the ones I'm going to definitely attempt to get through would be the second book in the Outlander series, which uh, by Diana Gabaldon, Dragonfly and Amber. That'll most likely be an audiobook because I've seen the show and the books kind of correlate, so I don't have to pay attention so much. Um, another book, I didn't write the author down. It's called 15 Dogs. A It was mentioned on a more prominent booktuber's channel, so I figured if that booktuber is about it, then it's probably good. It's got dogs in the title. And yes, yeah, so let's be real, it's got dogs in the title, <laughs> yeah. And that also would be partly the reason for my next I'm going to really give a go, How I Became a Dog Called Midnight. I think it's going to be more of a young adult. Or it may even be younger. But if you saw my top seven video, <laughs> you know my inner child is strong when it comes to reading at times. Yeah. So, and then if I manage to get through that, which... <sighs> I don't, I don't know. It, it's not like I live such a busy, active lifestyle. I just like to be lazy. So we can't cut into that too and much. And then she yells at me for being lazy. Ah, well, anyway. But when you're lazy, you're at least still somewhat accomplishing things. I'm usually reading. Yep. If I get through those three and these ones, which these are obviously the priority, the priority yes. Um, Heart Shape Box, The Color of Magic, and the stand stephen king good luck with that one right who author who's the color magic author terry pratchett absurdism and then heart-shaped box that's joe hill which is actually stephen king's son mm -hmm. so and that was um another booktuber um <laughs> pushed it and i really liked his review video and so I'm interested, but it's not really, I don't think it's really fantasy or sci-fi. Your own personal list can be whatever. Okay. So anyway, so that's our first quarter. And then if you guys have any like ideas of how, if you'd want to hear us discuss our personal stuff, like maybe in like a bi-weekly update, we can kind of cover some of the stuff we finished. Or if you'd actually want just like the person who read it to like make a review video for him i mean let us know what you think yeah 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 just and not you know what do you want to see let us know on the channel i mean do you want us to talk about you know maybe like branch out occasionally into like other fantasy sci-fi media and not just books you know we can throw that in there every now and then um, and what do you want to see? This It's our channel, but it's your channel as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I can only be so creative. And this guy over here, he's... He's... He's not always the biggest help in getting my creative juices flowing, so... We communicate our creativeness differently. differently. We do, and I don't always understand your communication it's so, frustrating I and know. vice versa i know <laughs> but anyways yeah just let us know what you're liking what you're not liking what we can do what you want to see and like if there's any particular book you heard us list let us know if you want to hear about it you know right. just or throw out suggestions That'd as to what too. you would recommend a newbie in a i'm not that well read but would you say intermediate sure Okay. A journeyman. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, that's first quarter 2022. Wish us luck. Which means our <laughs> first season of Seven's book discussions has officially come to a wrap, sort of. Right. I and mean, we do have another video that we're going to put out, but it's kind of a side it's a side hustle. It's a side video, and <laughs> it'll be out before the end of the year. Um, so, first Wednesday of the next year, they should expect the Poppy War video? 
That's the goal. Alrighty. So go ahead and pick it up and join us. We'd really like to hear your thoughts mm -hmm. on part one of Poppy War when we post that later. I was going to say later this year, but no, it's next year. Early next year. Early next year, whatever. Anyways, okay. That's it. Good reading. <laughs>